Hey everybody, what's going on? Vinny here from Anything Android. <clears throat> and right now I'm going to be doing a video of the best and must-have rooted apps. Now, a lot of people root their phone and I'm not really sure exactly why they want to root it. Sometimes people just root it for the fun of it, or maybe they root it for custom ROM and stuff, but they're not sure uh, what advantages they can take, uh, well, what they can take advantage of. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty much just go down the list, uh, number one, or, well, number five, uh, my list is ad-free. Now, ad-free is an application where, yeah, go ahead and allow that real quick. Ad-free is an application where you can remove ads on all your, your, uh, applications. So, anything that, uh, that has ads on it, like Angry Birds and stuff, and a lot of people complain about the ads being in the way and stuff, this application remove all ads so very useful very nice uh... honestly i don't i don't use it that much uh... but i know a lot of people uh... find it useful so there's that application next on our list is going to be rom manager so number four rom manager uh... the only downside of this rom is you have to be running clockwork mod for most of the functions to work, uh, but you can install a ROM straight from uh, this app as well as a uh, download, check for ROM updates, you can install a ROM from a uh, QR code, and uh, as well as back up your current ROM and fix permissions, which is very useful, uh, fixes a lot of uh, a lot of hangups your ROM might be having. That's, a, that's probably the most useful part, I believe. And that pretty much does it for this one. It's very useful. Uh, you just kind of ha have to know how to use it, but uh, very, very nice, very nice app. Next on our list is going to be Titanium Backup. Okay, so go back here and go in here. Now, Titanium Backup, I did a review on it a while ago. Basically, when you're flashing rounds back and forth, you don't want to lose all your data on your uh, your apps, you know, if you play a lot of games and, you know, you don't want to lose all your saved spots, so you have to do everything over, and you don't want to lose your text messages or your contacts and stuff like that. Well, in Titanium Backup, you get to back up all your apps, all your data on your SD card, so when you wipe and ev wipe your cache and your Dalvik cache and your user and system, basically, uh, this will all be deleted. However, you can back it up on your SD card. So once you flash your new ROM, you go into backup, and you can back everything back up onto your SD card. As you can see down here, there's a few I haven't yet uh, updated, like Word Feud. It's a game I play, and Launcher 7 is a uh, Windows launcher that I'm probably going to do a review on in the coming uh, coming days. But anyway, it's a very nice app, very useful for those of you that have rooted phones that like to flash ROMs like me. So. Very cool. Also, you get an overview of uh, certain things, like system, internal SD card uh, space, and stuff like that. So, very nice. Anyway, so our next uh, app on the list, number two, is going to be Wi-Fi Tether. Now, Wi-Fi Tether is not free if you don't have a... a uh, if you if you're not rooted, this will help all you people out there that would love to be able to use Wi-Fi Tether, but you figure, you know, I really don't want to pay thirty dollars a month for something I'm already paying for. Well, this will help you out here. So basically, it's just an app that you can download free on the Android market, and once you're rooted, you know, all you have to do is press start tethering. And please wait while starting, and it'll start up, and you'll be uh, good to go. So, very cool. Of course, you have to allow permissions. Uh, very nice uh, perk of uh, being rooted to be able to use this, especially if you have 4G. As you can see there, there it starts going and uploading and stuff. And, of course, you can connect your devices. And you have some settings here. You can use Bluetooth you know, change certain stuff out, you know, you can have notifications going, stuff like that, very nice, very good, uh, 
Very good app. I'm going to go ahead and go back in there. Stop it. And our next app, number one, in my opinion, is Screenshot or Screenshot It. A lot of people you shoot me, I prefer Screenshot It. Why? I really don't know. I just like the feature. Um, I, I like its features, I guess. I don't know. I've never even used Shoot Me, so I can't really compare them. But it uh, it, it does cost a little bit of money. I believe it's like uh, I think it's I think it's a dollar or two dollars. It's not much. It's worth it. Uh, it's a very very useful app. Everything else on this list was free, other than this one, which is uh, uh, one or two dollars. I think it's one ninety nine. But anyways, I mean, the reason I like this one so much is because the shake to screenshot is very um, accurate. Like, if I just want to take a screenshot of, say, the weather here, go ahead, shake it up, screenshot in five seconds, and there it is. Okay, and then immediately I can go share. And I don't know if you guys uh, follow me on Twitter, but a lot of times on Twitter, I'll post something up, and we'll just do a quick post on Twitter for this. Why not? And I'm using Swipe White now, so let's just say it's too hot out here. Oops. Okay, there we go. So, very nice, very cool. I guess my tweet didn't work, but whatever. Uh, those are my f five top must-have rooted apps. So, go ahead and uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. Also, follow me on Twitter, uh, Vin underscore mobile. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. So, I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment or message me. Latest.